Joe Biden, the man, the president of the United States, the guy who once faced off against Corn Pop is back in the spotlight. But this time, it's not just his spelling skill that have the internet buzzing. It's his memory. Forget Corn Pop. It's all about Biden's constant memory slips now. In a recent speech at the White House, Biden had a major mix-up that caught the whole nation. No, even the whole world talking. During the press conference about the humanitarian situation in Gaza, Biden accidentally confused the leader of Mexico with Egypt's El Sisi. President Biden's recent mix-up between the president of Mexico and Egypt during the discussion during of the Israel-Gaza war ignited widespread internet outage. Critics questioned the grasp of international affairs given his central role in the conflict. The conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. The viral clips prompted reaction ranging from a concern to ridicule, some expressing apprehension about the implications of such error from the world leader. Several netizens expressed concern over the incident, pitching that we are so screwed, while some contrasts were drawn over other notable global figures like Vladimir Putin, who today spent 30 minutes discussing history of Ukraine with Tucker Carlson in Kremlin. In this comparison, Putin emerged unscathed by every means, but that is a different debate for now. The topic is not that who is more unknowledgeable in terms or strong in terms of the global influence. The topic is that is US President Joe Biden mentally fit? Because this week, not just one, Biden jumbled three times. Just days ago, Biden stated in front of the public that he talked to President Mitterrand of France, who passed away in 1996 in the G7 summit of 2021. Here, Biden actually wanted to say that he talked with the President Emmanuel Macron of France. Then, Biden was not able to remember the name of Hamas while talking about the Gaza war. He stated, and we quote, There is a moment the reporter intervened and stated, Do you mean Hamas? Then Biden stated, Yes, I meant Hamas. Over the year, Biden has given countless examples raising worries about his mental health, from shaking hand in air to falling while cycling. A lot of Americans today are worried. On top of that, Joe Biden is still running for the presidential candidacy in 2024. Last year, the White House team of Joe Biden declared that doctors have declared Biden mentally sound, both physically and mentally. Well, if that is the case, one year later, still the worries have started to rear up. If Biden gets the candidacy for second term, and if he wins, he will be 86 by the end of his second term. And so, Americans are now pondering the implications of electing a leader whose fitness for office is increasingly being questioned. The Democratic Party today faces scrutiny with even senators that were once staunch supporters of Biden like Dean Phillips, raising worries about the incident. The question now is not that will Biden run for presidency despite all this, or will the Democratic Party will look into the matter and opt for other faces. Because not just health, even Biden's policy of Ukraine and domestic policies like the border control is now in question. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.